The HPGL engraving tool is used to insert non-text engravings, such as logos, onto your panel. It can also be used to insert text in a font other than those offered by a front panel designer. In order to insert an HPGL engraving object onto your panel, you will first need to create an HPGL file in a drawing program such as Adobe Illustrator or Corel Draw or some CAD programs. I will demonstrate how to insert an HPGL drawing onto a panel by inserting the Front Panel Express logo onto our sample panel. I will then insert the text to the right of the logo using an HPGL import. I will begin by first selecting the HPGL tool at the top of the screen. Next, I press the M key to enter the coordinates of where I would like to place my logo. Once I hit Enter, the HPGL Engraving Properties window will appear. Now I have an option to either select an HPGL file I have used in the past from the drop-down menu, or I can import a new HPGL file that I have saved on my computer. To import a new HPGL file, I hit Import, then find the folder in which I have my HPGL file saved, much like opening a file. I find my HPGL file. And once I hit Open, a preview of the HPGL will appear in the preview window. At this point, I'm going to hit OK and work from the object properties to the left of my panel, as this is much easier. I can change any of the properties by clicking within a field and either changing it manually or selecting an option from the drop-down menu. All the properties appear correct, so I skip down to the Pen Tools. From here, I can change the infill colors and also adjust the cutter tools to get a specific effect. For my logo, I will change the upper shape to Gentane Blue and the lower shape to Sky Blue. If I click within the infill color field, an arrow for a drop-down menu appears. I click on the arrow and select the color of my choice. The changes are reflected immediately on the panel. I do the same for the lower shape, changing the infill color to sky blue. I can now adjust the cutter tools based on the design of the HPGL design. I want the logo to appear solid, but for the finer details and the text to be clear. Now, I would like to add the text next to the logo. However, I want to use a font that is not available in Front Panel Designer. So I've converted the text that I want into an HPGL file and saved it on my computer. With the HPGL tool still selected, I select the origin tool that allows me to position my HPGL import in relation to the reference point of another object. I then click on the reference point of the logo I just created. I hit import and locate the HPGL file I made. I double click on the file and a preview appears in the window. Next, I hit OK and continue to make adjustments using the Object Properties menu to the left of the panel. I can now change the infill color and cutter tool if desired. However, I am happy with how the text displays, so I make no changes. I have now completed importing both a logo and text using the HPGL Import tool.